do so. The Honourable Member for Foothills. Mr. Speaker, employment insurance claims in Alberta are up 90 per cent. More than 200 Albertans are out of work. My home province is facing a jobs crisis. Even Royal Bank CEO David McKay understands this dire situation, saying Canada will not succeed if Alberta's energy sector does not succeed. The Liberals' response to this, uh, this crisis imposing a punitive, job-killing carbon tax. Mr. Speaker, why is this Liberal government so determined to destroy Alberta's economy with National Energy Program 2.0, and why are Alberta's four Liberal MPs willing to let this happen? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're very concerned with jobs across Canada, in the particular situation in Alberta. We're there to help, to support growing the economy, both in the short term and in the long term, with sound, environmental, sustainable, as well as sound social policies, of which EI is an important component. We've signaled very important changes to the EI system, the quality of services, the care and the compassion we feel for all workers, including them in Alberta. I'll member for Foothills. Mr. Speaker, Albertans appreciate the compassion, but they want jobs. They don't want EI. The Liberal government is imposing a carbon tax that is going to plough Alberta's agriculture sector into the ground. Mm. Alberta's uh, farmers and ranchers, they want to know why this government is attacking their livelihood. One worried farmer in my riding said this carbon tax will drive the cost of his fuel alone from $125,000 a year to $150,000 oh, a year, putting his operation in jeopardy. Mr. Speaker, I'm sure the Liberals' response will be to use public transit or get an electric car. So the farmers and ranchers in my riding, they have one question. How many head of cattle can I fit on a bus? Minister. Minister of Employment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As a Westerner, it gives me an opportunity to just indicate how concerned we are about the workers and the businesses in Alberta and across Canada, and in fact that we've stepped up, Mr. Speaker. Not only have we increased EI benefits for workers, we've increased supports for small business through We've helped small business through the work share program by doubling it. We've added $16 million more for skills and training. We've doubled the number of youth getting skills training, and we've added 245 young people to help Ford back. And the 